Hey everyone, welcome back to this series. We have been discussing about the various Tosca real-time interview questions and answers which you might face uh, in your next interview. So let's talk about the next interview question. And this is all about the different types of errors which you will encounter in Tosca. Now, there could be also some other parts to this question, like uh, they might ask you, how do you uh, handle these errors in Tosca? What are the different options which are available? Uh, also, um, how do you enable these configurations in Tosca? So there are three parts to this question. Um, and let's see how we can answer this particular question in the best possible manner. Now, in order to answer this particular question, you should be aware about the different uh, types of errors uh, which occur in Tosca and then the various options which are also available uh, in Tosca where uh, you can choose what to do uh, when this particular error occurs, okay? So uh, let's look at the different types of errors uh, which generally occurs in Tosca. Uh, so these are the different types of errors. Uh, the first is the dialogue failure. So this particular error uh, occurs when the interaction between your application, which you are testing, and the Tosca is unsuccessful. Now, there could be several reasons for that. Uh, it could be a connection failure, it could be a login failure, or any kind of uh, interaction which fails uh, between your application and your Tosca. Then the next uh, is the verification failure. Now, this particular error occurs uh, when um, the test case which you are running, the expected result is not matching the actual result. And then the verification has failed. So this particular error occurs, okay? The last type of error which occurs is the exceptions. Now, uh, these are the unexpected events or the unexpected errors which occur. Um, it could be due to any reason. It could be uh, due to some script failure or it could be due to your application error, right? So these are all unexpected events. And for all these types of errors, uh, then you need to decide what you want to do when this particular error occurs, right? Now, there are different procedures uh, which you can put in place uh, whenever this error occurs. You can run these procedures in Tosca. So Tosca will then um, choose what to do when this particular type of error occurs, okay? So what are the different procedures? Uh, the first is we can choose to continue with the next step in our test case. So if our previous step fails, still we can continue to execute the next step. In this way, we uh, do not halt our execution completely. We move on with the next step, okay? The next procedure uh, is we can choose to halt the execution of the current test case, uh, and then we move on to the next test case. So even if uh, one test case fails, we'll halt the execution of that particular test case, but we'll move on to the next test case. Then the final uh, option, which is present here, is recovery and cleanup. Now, this is the most preferred option, I would say. Uh, whenever you come up with any unexpected exceptions or there is a verification failure or there is a dialogue failure, you choose to um, use the recovery and cleanup scenarios so that you can recover out of that failure or you can just rerun your test cases. You can choose to clean up the whole scenario and rerun again. So, so this option seems to be the most uh, preferred option in case of failure so that uh, you don't stop the execution. You um, take some action based on which uh, it can then continue the execution uh, in spite of failures or errors. So these are the different types of errors and these are the different types of procedures in order to handle these errors. Now, the last part of this question is how do you uh, configure these different uh, errors and procedures, right? Now, there are two ways to do this. One is at the project settings level, but when we do it at a project settings level, then uh, it will be applicable across all the objects. But if we want to configure this for uh, some specific objects, then uh, we can use the test configuration parameters. Uh, we can add a few configuration parameters which can basically um, add the procedures so that uh, Tosca can then handle these errors based on whatever we have chosen from the different procedures, okay? So now they might also ask you, uh, how do you choose which procedure to choose uh, in case of some error or how do you decide uh, what you want to do? 
So you can basically tell them that uh, it completely depends on the scenarios which we are testing. Now, if it is a very short test scenario and which can be run in a very short time, then probably will halt the execution in case of any errors. But uh, if uh, the scenario is quite long and it takes lo a lot of time to uh, execute, then uh, we will not halt the execution. Maybe we'll continue uh, with the execution or we'll use the recovery and cleanup. So these are the two different types of scenarios uh, where we will be using two different procedures in order to handle these errors. So this is how you can um, answer this particular question. So do remember that uh, questions on error handling uh, is quite common in automation interviews. So it's highly likely that uh, you will encounter this uh, particular question in your uh, Tosca interview as well. So thank you for listening to me. Um, hope this was helpful. If you have any particular uh, feedback or comments, then do let me know. Uh, if you would like me to include any particular question in this series, then leave it in the comments. So that's all for now. And we'll discuss uh, more interview questions uh, in the coming up sessions.